everybody. Today I'm going to start a brand new series of videos where I test out torque wrenches. And in this first video, I'll be comparing two very common models. One sold at Home Depot, which is their half-inch Husky version, and then the other one sold at Lowe's, which is their half-inch Cobalt version. They're very similar in specs as well as price, and if you're looking at the two, you might not really know what the differences are. Now in this video, I'm going to show you firsthand what those differences are. We'll look at the different features and operation of them, but more importantly, we're going to test for accuracy. To test each torque wrench, I will be using a Proto Model J6476 torque wrench tester. This particular unit is designed for half-inch models with a range of 25 foot-pounds up to 250 foot-pounds. It has an electronic screen that's going to show us exactly what the torque being applied is, and I have it set for first peak mode, which is specifically what you need when you're looking at a micrometer torque wrench. When you hear the click, it's going to show you exactly how much torque was being applied. Here's a look at both torque wrenches side by side, and the first thing you'll notice is the fact that the cobalt is longer. This is going to give you additional leverage when you use it, making it easier to hit that desired torque, unless there's something in the way, which would be an obstruction. Now it's coming in overall at 25 and a half inches long, compared to the Husky at just over 24 and a quarter inches long. The Cobalt also weighs more, coming in exactly at 4 pounds, and then the Husky's coming in at 3 pounds 7 ounces. Both units are reversible, and just like a standard ratchet, you'll change the direction by moving the selector switch on the rear of the unit. They both have a 32 tooth mechanism, which is a coarse thread design, allowing for an 11.25 degree swing arc. So in that case, both the reversing mechanism as well as the tooth design, neither one would have an advantage over the other. The handles on each of these are completely different. You can see the blue cobalt handle is a painted metal surface. The black handle on the Husky is a softer rubber overmold, very similar to their screwdrivers. And depending on your situation, one of these might be a better choice. In my opinion, the Cobalt's a better choice if you're working around harsh shop chemicals because even if you got something like brake fluid on there, the worst thing that would happen would be discoloration or maybe the paint would come off. The metal itself would not be damaged and the Husky, because of its soft rubber overmold grip, if those same shop chemicals came into contact with it, it would be very likely to swell up, become deformed and become damaged. As far as the operation goes, it's going to be pretty much identical with both of them. There's a locking ring that you'll pull back and hold, and then you can turn the handle left to right. If you turn it to the right, it's going to tighten it up, increasing the torque, and if you turn it to the left, it's going to loosen it up, lowering the torque. The Husky is going to have a wider torque range than the Cobalt, and although the packaging says 50 foot-pounds up to 250 foot-pounds, and that's also what the manual states, when we look at the front of the torque wrench, we can see the actual range is from 30 foot-pounds to 250. Now there are two big negatives with the Husky in my opinion, and both of these I do not like, and that's the fact in one rotation it's going to go up 20 foot-pounds. With a traditional micrometer version in the half inch range, you would have a 10 foot pound increase in one rotation. And the other thing that I really don't like is the fact that it will not stop on any odd numbers. It's only going to work with even numbers. So let's say you're looking at 51, 71, or 113 foot pounds, you would be unable to do so with this torque wrench because it's only going to stop on, let's say, 110 or 112 foot-pounds. That does make it really not usable when you're rebuilding an engine or you're doing precision work because you would have to really round up or round down any torque specs in your manual. When we look at the Cobalt, that's not going to be the case, and the Cobalt will stop on every one foot-pound mark allowing you to line that up exactly with the manufacturer's specifications, and in one rotation on it, it only goes up 10 foot-pounds. Both units have a blow mold carrying case, which is designed to protect the tools when not in use. And I would highly suggest keeping them in these cases when you're not using them, specifically so nothing falls into them, they don't bang into something, you throw off that calibration. If they're inside of here, they're not going to move around, and even if you set something down on top of it, it's not going to damage your wrenches. Now to test the accuracy of both the torque wrenches, both forward and reverse, we're going to use the Proto unit, and we're going to start out at 30 foot-pounds. Now I'll adjust this up and down, and when I set it at a specific range, it will work in both forward and reverse. There's no other changes that are needed. 
Now what we'll do is start out with the Husky, which has a 30 foot pound range. The Cobalt does not, so we will not take a reading with it. And then we're gonna move into 50, 100, 150, 200, and finally the high end of 250. That's gonna be the maximum range for both of these. And we're looking to see which one is gonna be more accurate. Now what you're gonna look for here is a yellow light, a green light, or a red light. Yellow means that we did not reach the torque. Green means we were within range, and red means it went over the range. I've set this at a 4% accuracy rating, and that means if let's say I set it on 100 foot-pounds, 96 foot-pounds would be accurate and 104 foot-pounds would be accurate. On the lower end, it has a smaller number as far as the variation, and on the high end, it would have a larger number. But this is gonna prove without a doubt which one of these torque wrenches is more accurate. And like I said, starting out with the Husky, I have it in forward, I have it set at 30 foot-pounds, and let's see what it actually comes up at. And it's coming in at 32.2 foot-pounds, which is over the range. And taking a look at the results firsthand, we can see that the Cobalt was accurate with every single test. At the 50, 100, 150, 200, and 250 range, with both clockwise as well as counterclockwise mode, it was within range and we got a check mark on each. That was denoted by the green light that we saw. And the Husky in the 30 foot pound range, which the Cobalt does not have, was not accurate in forward or reverse. And then the 50 foot pound range, in reverse it wasn't accurate. In the 100 foot pound range, the reverse was not accurate. And the 150 range, the reverse was not accurate. As far as the forward torque, from 50 up to 250, it was accurate in every test. And then the reverse in both 200 and 250 foot pound range was also accurate. But as far as comparing the two of these and taking a look at the actual numbers, the Cobalt is gonna be consistently more accurate than the Husky. The warranty with both of these is very questionable because the packaging indicates one thing and the manual states something completely different. The Husky on the packaging says that it's guaranteed forever, and the Cobalt on the packaging says that it has a no-hassle lifetime guarantee, and both those policies would be in line with their standard hand tool lineups. But because both of these torque wrenches are calibrated units that will eventually need to be serviced, when we take a look at the manual, each states that they only carry a one-year warranty. If you run into a problem with it after that time frame, you would be responsible for the repair, and these are not something you could walk into the store and exchange later if you do run into an issue with them. So, now you've seen a side-by-side -side comparison with the Husky half-inch torque wrench, which is sold at Home Depot, and then the Cobalt version, which is sold at Lowe's. Now, as far as the country of origin goes on these, the Cobalt's gonna be made in Taiwan, and it's $80 off the shelf, the Husky is now made in China and it's $85 off the shelf. So if you happen to own one of these, that was one of the older made in USA versions, this is not the same one that they're currently selling. Now what was surprising to me was the torque testing with these, and we proved without a doubt that the Cobalt is a lot more accurate. Even though the range on the Husky is going from 30 foot-pounds up to 250, versus the 50 foot-pounds to 250, on that low end, the Husky was not accurate in forward or reverse, and it was off by roughly 10%. So if you're dealing with a small fastener and you don't want to over-torque it, this would not be the way to go. And really, until it hit that 50 foot-pound mark, it was not having accurate readings. Now what I'd like to know is which one of these do you like better, and if you happen to own one, or maybe you own both of them, what has your experience been? And if you don't own one of these, 
What kind of torque wrench do you own and would you recommend it? Leave a comment below this video and let everybody know about it so as they're researching torque wrenches, your comment might really help them out. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.